Hello my friends and welcome to my laboratory. I'm on a mission to make the world's most powerful 3D printed engine. And this was my most recent record run. But after this runs the engine was left completely out of compression. So it's time to open it up to see what actually failed. I already removed the harness. Next we will remove the intake. I didn't mention in the last video but I added the potentiometer. That's gonna act like a throttle sensor. So in the future maybe we will be able to actually rev this engine properly. Next up let's remove the distributor. These parts have no damage so they are gonna be good to go for multiple rounds of testing. Now let's turn the engine around. First thing that I'm gonna remove on the timing side is the belt tensioner. This is a fixed belt tensioner made with a 3D printed part and two bearings, so a pretty simple but very effective part. Once again this thing has no damage, so I'm definitely reusing this part. For the timing belt I'm using a high torque drive belt HTD5 with a width of 9mm. The best thing about this belt is that they come in a closed loop so you don't have to do any gluing, like in my older belts. This time I used 3D printed pulleys, the camshaft one is actually reused from the V-twin engine I made, I'm going to link that at the end of this video. Next up let's remove the head. After removing the head and the cylinder, let's take a look inside the crankcase. I'm gonna unscrew all the crankcase bolts. Now let's open it up. The crankshaft has no play, it's just like new. I had this crankshaft CNC milled by PCBWay and honestly the results blew me away. Besides the fact that everything is heat treated, to make sure this crankshaft is gonna have a long life, all their tolerances were on point on every joint, they have an easy to use website, you just select the manufacturing method you need, CNC machining, sheet metal fabrication, 3D printing, injection molding. Then you just drag and drop your files, select what material you need your parts to be made out of and you get an instant press code. And yes, you can select out of a wide variety of tolerances, surface roughness. If you have multiple parts that need to be assembled, they can actually do that for you. With fast production time, worldwide delivery and safe payment, PCBWay has your back in your next project. They also have some massive discounts during the month of September when it comes to TPU 3D printing. So if you wanna check it out, you have a link in the video description. Once again, a big thank you to PCBWay for making this project possible. So our crankshaft is in good shape, but inside the crankcase I found this. It looks like molten plastic. Well, who would have thought molten plastic inside the 3D printed engine? Now let's take a look at the piston. To be fair, I expected the piston to look much worse than this. It has a sludge all over it. It looks like combined molten plastic and oil. But after I cleaned it a bit, looks almost new. I didn't expect the carbon fiber reinforced nylon to be this tough and heat resistant. This thing ran for 30 seconds after all and each explosion of the engine has thousands of degrees celsius. Yes there are a couple of spots that are in worse shape but this doesn't look like a piston that should have lost compression. Even the ring looks decent. I found interesting that the material bubbled on the right side of the piston basically right under the spark plug. So the piston is in decent shape. Now let's check the cylinder. This looks like the same sludge it was all over in the crankcase and on the piston, but here is hard like a rock. On this side of the cylinder we have a big ridge that's rock solid and also... Is that the hole? Yep, that definitely looks like a hole. I guess we found the reason why you had no compression. So there we have it guys, a failed cylinder. 
The most surprising part though is the fact that this piston actually survived the full run. As you guys already know, everything that fails gets redesigned to be stronger and more efficient. Let me know in the comments where do you think I should go next with this project. Once again, a big thank you to PCBWay for supporting this project.